Okay, team, we're back. We're talking about an in, we're giving you an introduction into solving equations. This is the first time we've had an equation. What's an equation? Equation has an equal sign, and an equation has something on each side of it. You'll notice before, if we only had something on one side of it, I called it an expression. But if you have something with something on this side and something on this side, that is an equation. And the, the EQU word, right, is equal. This side is equal to that side. That's what that sign means. This junk is equal to that junk. It has to be, okay? So the first thing you need to know about equations, we're going to use all the tools that we've been using so far, but the first thing you need to know is this. If you do anything to one side of an equation, if I do anything to this side, right, I have to do the same thing to the other side. I have to do the same thing to this side. If I don't, then this won't be equal to that anymore. If you're on one side of the table and I'm on the other, and somebody says, hey, I'll give you an apple, but the other guy doesn't have an apple. Well, me and him aren't equal anymore. We don't, I got an apple and he doesn't, right? So if I'm going to be equal, this side has to have the same treatment that that side has. So if I add something over here, I got to add something over here. If I subtract something, I got to subtract something. If I multiply this side by something, I got to multiply this side by the same thing. That's the secret, right? There's the secret sauce. Okay? Let's see if we can use that technology to solve these equations. Now we're getting into this equation stuff. This is, I love this stuff. To me, these are like puzzles. These are like little crossword puzzles. You shouldn't hate these things. You should be really loving this, okay? All right, let's see if we can solve these little equations, okay? So the whole idea here, I've got one unknown in each one of these equations. I got X, I got A, I got C, and I got another X down here, right? Let's make him a Y just to make him different. You might ask why. <laughs> just because, I don't know. Anyway, the secret is I'm trying to get X all by himself because what I want is like this. I want X equals a number, right? I want to know what is X. That's what I'm looking for. What is X? Well, I'm going to find it. It's something, right? That's So the whole secret here is to try and get the variable isolated, get him all by himself. So I want everything else to go to the other side, right? So I want that three to go to the other side. I want him to go away from over here. So how do I make a three go away? Well, I'll tell you how to make three go away. You just subtract three, right? 3 minus 3 leaves you how much? 0. Okay? And then what do I have to do to this side? I took 3 off of this side, so what should I do over here? Take 3 away. Okay? So x is equal now to 7 minus 3. And 7 minus 3 is 4. Okay? You see how easy that is? We get this guy isolated. We want A all by himself, okay? I want A all by himself. So you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna add an A to each side. So if I add an A to this side and I'm add an A to this side, what happens to the A right here? He goes away, doesn't he? Negative A plus A is zero, okay? So I wind up with three is equal to minus nine plus A, and I want A all by himself, so i got to get rid of that 9, okay? And I just moved the A over there because I like him to be positive, right? I don't want him to be negative. So, uh, how do I get rid of a minus 9? Well, you add 9 to each side, right? That'll go to 0, and then I add 9 to this side. So, A is equal to 3 plus 9, which is 12. Nice, okay? Can we do it again? I want C by himself. Ooh, I don't have add this time. What should we do? Well, here's what we have. These two guys are multiplied together, right? So how do I get rid of a minus seven on this side? I want him gone. i tell you what you can do. You could divide this side by minus seven and divide that side by minus seven. Because what is minus seven divided by minus seven? One. So that's going to leave you with C is equal to 42 over minus 7, okay? And 42, how many times does 7 go into 42? Six times. Okay, minus 6, okay? So C is equal to minus 6 for that one. 
We, I mean, what we're doing right now, this is at the heart of algebra. This is what it is right here, y'all. You should be excited. Okay, now up here, I got rid of a, a multiplication by dividing. So how do I get rid of a divide? Mm -hmm. By multiplying. Yes, by multiplying. Okay, because if I multiply this side by minus 2, and I multiply this side by minus 2, right? The minus 2, which is really a minus 2 over 1, right? Whoop, whoop. Those cancel out, don't they? They divide away. Minus 2 over minus 2 is how much? 1. So I'm left with y is equal to minus 2 times minus, minus 5 times minus 2. A minus times a minus gives me a positive. So positive 5 times 2, it's 10. And there you go. There is our first introduction into solving equations. They're gonna, the equations are going to get bigger, better, stronger, faster, gnarlier. We can handle it. I'll help you. All right, hang on.